This time on Road and Race, I finish off the maintenance and servicing by changing, amongst other things, the glow plugs, air filters, and power steering fluid. I then investigate the swirl flap problem. In the last episode, I put aside the remaining mechanical work to turn my attention to how the car looks by ceramic coating it, fitting a new matte black performance grille, coding in new features, and sorting out a few other little annoying things. This time it's all about making sure the wear and tear items get changed, the simple servicing things, so to speak. I mainly want to check to see if this car suffers from the swirl flap problem. Some BMW diesel engines have plastic flaps fitted that open and close at low speeds to increase fuel economy, but have one fatal problem. They're made of plastic, and if they break, they fall into the cylinder and cause massive engine damage. Luckily, the fix is to simply remove them and fit blanking plates. Whilst them in there, it makes sense to do a few other items as well. First up, I'll be changing the glow plugs. They can last up to 100,000 miles, and these ones have been in for just 45,000 miles, but I've already had an engine code telling me plug two has failed. As it takes ages to remove all the plastic off the engine to get access to replace the glow plugs, it makes sense because they're not that expensive, just to replace all six. And whilst I have easy access, I'll change the air intake filter, cabin filters, and check the oil breather. And lastly, there's a few remaining ob jobs left to tackle. BMW recommend getting the engine up to temperature before attempting to remove the glow plugs as this can reduce the likelihood of them snapping. First up we need to remove the plastic up here which hold the cabin filters. They filter the air coming from the outside to the inside of the car. And as you can see they're looking pretty filthy. Here's some new ones, and here they are fitted. On the other housing, you need to remove the bonnet sensor and the AUC sensor. After unlocking a few clips, these plastic parts pull out. The engine air intake filter is kept in this housing. There's a number of screws that hold it in. This filter was last changed nearly 59,000 miles ago and as you can see, it's looking absolutely filthy. The air filter housing itself is looking a little bit dirty, so I just gave that a quick clean. We now have very easy access to the oil separator, so let's take that out and give it a quick once over. There are two different types fitted to BMWs. One is a toilet paper style one that needs changing every three services. And what we have here is the Vortex one, which should, in theory, last forever. It generally doesn't look too bad, so I'm gonna put it back on the car. As we'll be working on the electrics, it's a lot safer to disconnect the battery. So the first stage of taking off the engine manifold is to remove the EGR valve there's a number of things you need to disconnect. All six injectors need disconnecting. And then there's three more bolts and the whole electrical harness can be lifted away. The 
then it's a matter of disconnecting all the bolts that hold on the intake manifold. And after all that, it's the immense satisfaction of lifting out the entire intake manifold. Next up, these connectors need disconnecting. Now, you really, 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 really do not want your glow plugs snapping in the cylinder because it's just gonna be all kinds of pain. So I would highly advise as much penetrating fluid as possible. Then very gently, you can try easing the glow plug out. Here's an old one compared to the new one. You can see how kind of burnt up and crusty the old one is. To make the glow plug easier to remove in the future, just put some copper grease on the threads. Get the glow plug finger tight, being careful not to cross thread it. And then torque it up to spec. In this case, it's 15 Newton meters. With the intake manifold removed, we can see if we have any swirl flaps. And I'm very pleased to say, we don't. Yay! Also on the plus side, it doesn't look too dirty. I will of course be replacing all these rubber seals before I put it back on. So now on to a few odd jobs. The power steering in this car needs changing every eight years or so. The car's 11 years old and there's no record of it ever being changed. So let's get that sorted. Whilst the better method for changing the fluid is to drain it from under the car, today I'm gonna to use the easier but less effective method, which everyone can do at home. It's just three steps. First, drain the fluid from the reservoir. Fill with new fluid. Start the engine and turn the wheels from lock to lock to help mix up the fluid. Then repeat. If you do this until you've used a whole litre of new fluid, then you'll have replaced a fair amount. Here's a look at the old fluid. Should be a bright green, and it's a horrible brown. You may remember from a previous video that my driver's side wing mirror wasn't heating like it should. Well, my first step in troubleshooting it was to take the glass out. It's actually quite a simple process. You just need to get a plastic tool behind it and it pops straight off. As you can see, it's not a genuine BMW part and the terminals have rusted. If you compare it to the working mirror, it is a BMW part and the design is much better. Here you can see the terminals are much better protected. An official BMW part is a whopping 126 pounds. I looked online at auction sites and found an aftermarket one the same connector design as BMW's for just £10. Here it is fitted and it now heats correctly. Next time on Road and Race. In the next video I'm going to be looking into why the transmission in this car doesn't seem to be getting up to temperature. This could be a problem because if it's not getting up to temperature it could reduce the life of the transmission so it's worth kind of sorting that out. Also the water pump on this car has done about 133,000 miles, and whilst it's still working fine, if it does fail, then the car will overheat and I'll be broken down. So it's probably best just to get that swapped out.